So, I just saw this new movie that completely flew under my radar that came out back in April. And so, someone brought it up to me, I checked it out, and I really enjoyed it. The movie is, in English, Traces of Love. Or, as it's known in its native country of Brazil, Evidencias do Amor. And I've got to say that this movie is really fun and entertaining. It's oddly reminiscent of others uh, that I've seen in the past and one of my all-time favorites. But I'll get to those later as I now describe you the story where it's about this couple who in the beginning moments of the film I thought was really weird how we just fast-forwarded through the entire relationship and then I realized, wait, that was the point. I legitimately thought, I was like, where is this movie going from here? And then all of a sudden, it all starts afterwards, a year after their breakup, and they flash back to past memories every time they hear the song Evidencias, which is a very popular song. It's a great song, and honestly, it's worth a listen, so just look it up later. Uh, the title will be somewhere in the video already in the comments probably or in the title and description but every time they hear the song they visit a memory from their past and they he just tries to figure out the problems and how he can still try to get the girl at the end of it and i thought it was such an actual interesting premise at first i thought it was going to be very by the numbers and boring and then it got absurd and that's when i started liking it a bit more so in terms of the fact that it's just like a rom-com it's pretty hot pockety and like very much one and done but the f way that they handle it is interesting enough that i may I'll, I'll make it a hand grenade score and now the cinematics truly a surprisingly good visual effects um just because i wasn't expecting much and it was a apparent like time travel rom-com and it was wild i i loved it though it was good cinematics mostly because the soundtrack was absolutely phenomenal so i'll give it a hand grenade score there directing like i said at first i thought it was really poorly paced <laughs> but then i noticed that we were speed running that on purpose and when we got to the actual like meat and bones i thought it was pretty well paced i don't think it was nothing spectacular mostly because there were moments where i'm like this kind of dragged and we could have gotten to the end a little bit better but honestly just a hot pocket score there i i don't know the it's just a question of style and i liked the style but i don't know something about it just i'm not willing to rewatch that so soon again uh acting does we have a great performance from our two leads and i had fun with their performances even though we barely see uh sunday who is the female lead uh she's barely in there but honestly uh my man's uh fabio porsche he carries honestly great great performances overall so i'll give that a hand grenade score but yeah overall i just think that this movie is a certified hot pocket like i enjoyed it but it's nothing that I'm going to really re-watch so quickly. But it does have many hand grenade elements. So it is. it could potentially be your new favorite. Especially with its consistent references and similar feels to uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once and Inception, surprisingly enough. So much so that Inception is actually a joke that they make in the movie. And so... After like seeing those two and this one, it kind of feels like a mixture of both, but in a rom-com setting. And so it it has that potential to be like a super good hand grenade movie. It just didn't hit for me because, I don't know, I guess I'm just not super into rom-coms, even though I have seen so many of them this year and I've loved a lot of them. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below what you thought of the movie if you found it. It's on HBO Max if you're in the States and uh subscribe if you haven't already and other than that i'll leave you guys to it